Ladies and gentlemen, what is up and what's going down? It's the Dizzy One here bringing you another game of NBA 2K17 Legends, my league with creative players. We're going up against the Denver Nuggets. And as you can see on the right right there, it's Chris Webber, a creative legend that's not normally in the game, even though he should be. I don't know why, it's probably because rights, copyrights, trademark, whatever it is. He's in the game now because we created him. And I'm not too proud about how he looks up close and personal, but we're not going to be seeing that a lot, so eh, we don't need to worry about it. But, with that being said, foom foom, let's get this game going. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, let's do it. They also have James Worthy, Mark Gasol, Goran Dragic, and Jimmy Butler, which is something that uh, I'm kind of worried about because we do have problems with front courts that are really, really good, and I consider Mark Gasol and Chris Webber a really good front court, and you throw in James Worthy at that small forward position, we're going to have problems. But, we do have Caleb Depogi, and that's the main reason why I'm worried about it. Uh, offensively, he's not the problem, but defensively, he's a liability. And that's why we got to worry about it a lot. Number seven, though, pulling up from distance, and he makes a three. And here we go. We're up one to start the game. Jimmy Butler has the ball. Chris Webber trying to get post position on him, but Depogi actually putting in the work defensively right there, so it works out a little bit. And uh, one thing I do want to mention that off the bench for the Denver Nuggets, I did a little bit of research looking it up and trying to check out, scout out their team. They do have a guy named Moerman. He's like a European player, a random European player. Yeah, he's actually kind of decent. He's actually really good and he's an 86 overall. So we can't hide uh, Depogi at all in, in the game because at all times they're going to have a really decent, really good power forward. So no matter what, when Depogi is in the game, we really got to watch that. DeAndre Jordan can cover up some of the mistakes, but he can't cover up all of them. And there is Moerman now. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it like Mo 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 is it is it Mormon? Is it Mormon? I want to know. I, I don't know. I just want to know. But anyways, I want to say the names properly because these are real people. And uh, <laughs> if I mess it up, I'm going to feel really stupid. And I probably am already. But with that being said, let's get into the game right here. As you can see, Darren Williams and Dikembe Mutombo, the recent trades that we acquired from other teams, as well as Tayshaun Prince, uh, they're in the game right now. And they are putting in the finest of works. Tayshaun right now rocking that number 35 jersey and Depogi knocking down another three. Pretty much most of our points right now are all three pointers, which is actually pretty incredible. And it is a tie game, 16 to 16. Goran Dragic, he's a guy that can really cut and hurt you inside. And he can also shoot threes, which is kind of, kind of crazy because he's really good at finishing around the basket, which is kind of weird because a lot of guards are not good, especially when they're going up against really, really extremely good defensive players in our My League because we do have extremely good defensive players at all times. Zerbo has the ball going up against James Worthy. Right now, as you can see, Miles Turner, who's been switched to power forward, is in the game. And I'm liking what I see defensively from him because he is stronger than Depogi. And that's something I love to see. But with that being said, we are losing four points right now. And the, the defensive struggles are coming in. Uh, they're, they're, they're biting us in the butt right now. And oh my goodness, another three-pointer from David Zerbo, which is something that I'm looking forward to right now because there's a lot of threes that are happening, but we can't get anything on the inside. Marcus Gasol is locking us down. We need to get some buckets on the inside. And right there, can we make another three-pointer? There it is. Caleb DePogi showing his offensive prowess. And we're getting everything to drop from the three-point line right now up here in the Mile High City in Denver. And whoever that is, I have no idea. Is that Serge Ibaka? It's looking like Serge Ibaka. Uh, he's, he's trying to put in the finest work right there. But Dikembe Mutombo with a hook shot getting us the lead at halftime. First quarter highlights underway. And we are just knocking down the threes. As you can see, all of our highlights are pretty much three-pointers. And they have a couple three-pointers dropping. Jimmy Butler, one guy we haven't really mentioned at all. He is, he's actually like scary good in this game. Uh, his defense is really good in real life. But in 2K, it's just out of this world. And you can't stop him on the offensive end either. His mid-range, his pull-ups, they're just, I don't know. I don't know. 2K really, really likes Jimmy Butler. I'm not too much of a fan of his. He has really good work ethic, and I like what he represents. 
a lot of people don't know this, but he it, he was an orphan. Um, his mom and uh, his dad left him when he was younger. His mom didn't want him and basically kicked him out of that house when he was 11 years old. And he grew up on the streets and he found a family that eventually took him in and he worked his he worked his butt off and he made the NBA, which is something that's actually really, really incredible if you think about it. Not having any authority figures in your life at such a crucial age and just deciding that, hey, I'm going to work. I'm going to put the work in to get where I want to go. And now he's one of the defining superstars of the NBA in this decade, which is actually really, really cool. Just a little bit of knowledge for you guys right there. So next time you see Jimmy Butler and you're like, oh, I think he's a weirdo, whatever. Um, you think he's arrogant, confident, whatever. But hey, he's, he's a hard worker, extremely hard worker. Mad respect to the man. Not much of a fan of his basketball game, but uh, but yeah, yeah, he's he's a cool guy. Anyways, with that being said, we're starting the third quarter now, and James Worthy trying to put in the work up against David Zerbo, and he gets fouled by John Wall. John Wall trying to complain to the ref, but hey, man, I saw you foul him. Everybody saw you foul him. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm actually really tired right now, guys. It's actually uh, almost 7 a.m. by the time I'm recording this. And there was another video that I've been trying to record for the past four days now that I just, I can't, I can't get it. And so I want to skip ahead to this video and record this one first before going to that video because, man, it's, it's a struggle. I want to give you guys the best content possible and I haven't slept at all, which is, which is probably a bad idea trying to, you know, get content out to you guys. But with that being said, foom, foom, I'm here doing my job, trying to trying to get this to you guys and Jimmy Butler blows the layup and we're trying to speed the ball up get the ball up in transition and uh, they stop us but Miles Turner man that dude is a legend that dude is beast man you can't stop him you can't stop him at power forward he's just too strong he can also uh, blah 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 <laughs> uh, I gotta speak English a little bit better but um actually I don't think I've ever told you guys this but English is actually my second language, but I speak it better than my first language, which is Tagalog. Yeah, I don't think I've ever told you guys that, but anyways. Yeah, we need to get back on defense. We're not doing too well. Denver Nuggets have really just held the lead the whole game. They've kept... I'm starting to speak Irish on you guys. Um, but they've kept us in check, which is something that I'm really worried about because they are really good defensively. And Depogi is really struggling, as I, I expected. But we got to do a little bit better. And hopefully you guys are liking the camera angles. I like it personally because it's a little bit different. And right there, Chris Webber getting the bucket yet again over Caleb Depogi. And I'm mentioning his name a lot because he's messing up a lot. But um, there you go, James Worthy with a fadeaway. And it's now 48-47. to They're always in the lead just by a little bit. Those Denver Nuggets, man, they're they're they're, they're pesky. And ah, another bucket from Chris Webber over Depogi, and we really need to get a stop right now. It's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter, 52 to 51. Webber trying to put in the finest of work, and he drops the bucket down, pushing number seven to the side, and it's 54 to 51. Denver Nuggets with the ball, Goran Dragic. It's clutch time. It's do or die. Now or never. Weber. Hashtag bars. He missed the shot. Defense was clutch. Zerbo bringing the ball up. Why'd he pass it to John Wall? Why is Scottie Pippen taking a three? What was that? What was that? Oh, my goodness. Did you guys stick in Scottie Pippen, man? That was so stupid. That was so stupid. That's the game. He just, he shot a three from like almost half court. Almost half court. We had 11 seconds left on the clock and he decided to shoot it from almost half court and he was covered. What was that? That was so dumb. That cost us the game. But anyways, um, Chris Webber was the player of the game. 16, 11, and 1. All stats are doubles. So it's actually 32, 22, and 2. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, foom foom, adios.